Welcome on behalf of Volunteer Fox Cities to Volunteer Fest 2020. It's a little bit different than usual if you've attended a Volunteer Fest in the past, but we are glad that we have this technology and this ability to uh, highlight these places and their volunteer needs that are uh, super important to the community. Uh, with that, I want to introduce uh, Ashley from the Trout Museum of Art. Uh, I will let everyone know that if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to raise your little Zoom hand. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, either use the chat or go ahead and just kind of pop in. And uh, I know Ashley will work to get your questions uh, answered as best as possible. Uh, and I do also want to make everyone aware that we are recording these sessions so that anybody that cannot make it to this current 5.30 time will still be able to see and hear the information that the Trout Museum uh, has. So with that, Ashley, uh, welcome. And I'm going to turn it over to you. Welcome. Thank you. Um, so, yes, I am Ashley. I'm with the Trout Museum of Art. Um, if you're not familiar with our organization, I'm just going to share my screen quick. Um, we are located, we're an art museum located in downtown Appleton, so right on College Ave, and you might recognize us from the giant origami crane on our building. Um, if you, you can kind of see him, he's kind of covered up with words here. Um, but we are, like I said, the Trout Museum of Art. Originally, we were the Appleton Art Center. Um, we switched to the, Trump, the name of the Trout Museum of Art just in 2010. Um, and that was because Dr. Monroe and Sandra Trout donated their art collection to us. So we renamed ourselves the Trout Museum of Art. Um, so we've actually been at this location um, for a number of years now. Um, and we do everything from art exhibitions to art education, um, events, and we'll be covering mostly events tonight. Um, if you ever are looking for anything about us, um, you can find us on our profile on um, the Volunteer Fox Cities, or you can visit troutmuseum.org. You can find everything that we're doing there from volunteer opportunities to current exhibits if you want to come, come visit us. Um, like I said today, we're gonna, we're focusing more on our event, events because we're, everything's a little slow right now, um, as, as I assume it is for everyone. Um, we're just not doing quite as, me as many events. We're not bringing as many volunteers into our building right now just for the safety of the people visiting us. Um, our staff ourselves are not as much getting up close and with people because we want people to be safe. Um, our, an art museum is, for a visitor is right now pretty safe because it's all about not touching things. You know, you come into an art museum and you, you just look at things. <laughs> um, so overall, we, we're, we're pretty proud that we can keep things pretty safe and we want to keep doing that. Um, but we're pretty hopeful that by August or by July, I mean, that we can do art at the park. So if you're not familiar with art at the park, um, I, I kind of talked about all this already, but we, like I said, um, we do our exhibitions, education, and events. Um, if, but if you're not familiar, familiar with art at the park, the Trout Museum actually puts that entire event together. So we, that has been happening. This is our 61st year. Um, and we have been doing it for uh, quite some years. <laughs> so this year, we're quite hopeful that we will be able to do Art at the Park. It's, it's a, gonna be scheduled for July 24th and 25th of 2021. Um, last year, we wound up going to a, an online version of that event. So everyone was still able to see all of our fabulous art vendors, but on an online platform. Um, this year, we're really hopeful that we can do it. Um, so keep wearing your masks. <laughs> Um, but what is Art at the Park? Art at the Park is an arts festival, right, in City Park in downtown Appleton. We have everything from art vendors. Um, typically every year we have about 170 art vendors that come from not only Wisconsin, but across the country. We've had people from Florida and Massachusetts and like wherever they may be. Um, so those artists apply and then they have an, a booth at Art at the Park. Um, this year will be the first year that we're moving to a two-day event. Um, kind of last year we wanted to do it in honor of our 60th year, but this year it will be in honor of our 61st year because nothing happened last year. Um, but with that, we need more volunteers than ever. Um, with all, if you think of kind of like a fair, we have we have food, we have music, entertainment, we have all the art vendors. And we want to make it a fabulous event for everyone coming and all of our volunteers and all of our staff. 
um, and everybody who's even coming from outside of the fact cities to come and visit us. Um, so here's some photos. We, you can see we do kind of up in this left corner where you can see all of the artist vendor tents. Um, we have a kids creative station where we have volunteers who can, if you want to fa paint faces. Um, we have businesses come in and do crafts with anybody who wants to join in. So you could help a business with a craft. Um, we have people who sit in booths. Um, so if an artist needs to take a lunch break or a bathroom break, we have volunteers if you want to just sit in an artist booth for a half an hour. Um, you don't have to make any sales during that time. It's just um, so you can kind of watch their stuff and make sure nothing happens. Um, we, because this is a kind of a, a big hassle, we, we have six full-time staff on our, the Trout Museum staff. So you can imagine it's a lot to do for six people with this two-day event. 20,000 people come to this event every summer. It's the third largest event in the Fox Cities in the summertime. So you can imagine <laughs> there's lots of supplies we have to get to the park. There's lots of setting up tents to set up. Um, so we do, if you're a person that doesn't really like to help on the day of, um, if you're not really into you know crafts and stuff, we do need lots of help setting up for cleaning up the day before and the day after. Um, if you would like to help us with garbage or keeping the park clean, that's awesome. Um, we have a community art project we do every year. So we have, we'll actually have two this year where one artist um, kind of facilitates the project and community members can help create something and make one large community piece. Um, so if you, you're interested in things like that, we, we can kind of meet anybody's needs at this event. Um, even event photographers, if you have a passion for photography and you wanna come take photos of the event and have them, we can share them on social media and you can get your name out there, that'd be awesome. Um, so is any questions yet about what we can offer at Art the Park or what you can do at Art the Park? Uh, can I, I know you mentioned that it's at uh, City Park, correct? It um, is at City Park. If, if anyone's not familiar, City Park is right downtown, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's actually only like a mile or, mile or so from uh, uh, the Trump Museum, so it's right downtown in Appleton, yep. Kind of sort of by Lawrence okay. University. Okay, excellent, thank you. Yeah. Uh, so I just kind of want to end with, uh, we're not quite ready to kind of sign up for, you know, I'm going to volunteer at 10 a.m. on July 24th for this thing. So right now we're going to, we're taking your interested emails and Getting, your, getting you on our list, our email list, so that we know that you are, would be interested in volunteering. Um, so if you ever decide that you would like to maybe volunteer for Art the Park, um, all you have to do is visit artthepartonline.com and we have a sign up form there. Um, otherwise, you can find it on our main website, troutmuseum.org also. And I know that, um because it's kind of a uh, an evolving situation, you know, you probably, you may not have a date in mind where you are ready for the, I'm signing up for this date at this time. Um, will they be able to, when you get to that point where you're ready for that, is that something that they'll be able to find on your website or how will someone find that when they're, you're ready for that? Yeah, um, so everything will be on our website. Um, if you would want to go, let me just switch my screen quick. So if you would go to our main, or let's go, or, or the parkonline.com or troutmuseum.org, you can get to our Earth Park page. Um, and you can, at any point throughout the year, you can find this volunteer for the park 2021. Um, and this page is just loading very slowly, but I'll go to that. But yeah, this is where you can sign up for our email list. So if you if you submit your name, this is no obligation that you're going to volunteer for Earth Park. But if you would like to receive more information, all you have to do is just fill out your name and email and information, and we'll keep you in the loop on everything at the park. Perfect. Um, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here. 
Um, do you happen to know if uh, or, or have offhand maybe a, a story or a, um, a testimony from someone who's volunteered at Art at the Park uh, in the past about their experience and why it was a, a great volunteer experience? Yeah, um, I've, a lot of our volunteers actually come back year to year. Um, so actually the, our, the old person who used to have my position actually, she used to organize Art at the Park. Um, and be the marketing person at the Trout. Um, she, her family used to volunteer every single year. So her dad was actually the person who um, built the origami crane. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, so um, he's an artist in, I believe, Green Bay. But so him and his wife and her siblings and her kids came every year and they always volunteer. They, they typically did things like the park maintenance position where they would clean up garbage and kind of just help throughout the day. Um, but yeah, a lot of times people come back year to year. Um, they're excited to get our new themed t-shirts every year. So every mm -hmm. year we have a different t-shirt that all our volunteers yeah. get. Um, and I think everybody just kind of have, has a lot of fun. It's a, you know, it's an arts festival. If you want to volunteer for two hours or four hours and then just enjoy the festival, um, it's a lot of fun, especially if you get a, a friend or somebody to volunteer with you. Yeah, and you know, I've, I've been to Art in the Park before and, and well, I haven't volunteered. I can tell you that, you know, from at least my observations, it definitely seems like it's a nice kind of um, relaxing way to volunteer, right? You know, mm -hmm. yeah, there's the art and you've got your, your, your task that you're volunteering for, mm -hmm. but it's such a different um, type of volunteer experience, right? Where um, you get to be a part of this this huge festival in our in our community and and yeah you might be one little part of it maybe it's just doing trash or maybe it was set up or maybe you're just going booth to booth and sitting while someone's yeah. uh you know going on a a break but it's it's just kind of that laid back thing where you're still such an important cog in making the whole thing run smoothly yeah and it's such a, a fun event and popular event with the community so it's fun to just be be a part of that um, well, I know any, any part of volunteer for other park, anything helps and anything is just as important. So if you, if you want to volunteer in the kids area, or if you want to pick up garbage, anything is, <laughs> anything yeah. is well. Sure. Um, let me, you know, stepping aside from the volunteer stuff for a second, um, the museum's open. Yes. Yes. Uh, we are open. We actually reopened. We've been open since June. Um, but we had exhibit ins installation the last couple of weeks. So we just reopened with new art on Saturday. Um, so yeah, right now we have, like I, I mentioned in the beginning, the Trouts, the Dr. Monroe and Mrs. Trout donated their art collection to us. That is what's on display mm -hmm. right now. So um, actually only about a quarter of it, quarter of it, there's like oh. almost 200 pieces in the collection. So we have about 40 on display, um, but that's uh -huh. all we could get. Um, wow. And we also have, if you're interested in Needlepoint, we have a National Needlepoint exhibit, which some people are excited about. Um, oh. So that's juried. And there's actually one artist from Appleton who has her work in it, who got her work selected. So it's pretty neat. Very cool. Yeah. Um, if somebody wanted to, um, obviously, you know, your website there, trotmuseum.org, if someone wanted to learn more either about Art in the Park or the Trot Museum in general, um, is there any other thing they need to, to be aware of um, if they're coming to visit the museum to learn more? Um, are you requiring masks or do you have certain hours or capacities or anything that we should be aware of at the current time? Yeah, um, right now we are back to our regular hours. So I'll just show you on our web page how you can find that stuff. Um, we do require masks. Um, we do have, if you, need, you happen to forget one, we have them there if available. Um, but if you just go to our website, you can find all of our current hours under visit on our home menu. And you'll see that we, our museum, our gallery, and our museum store are open our regular hours. So every day during the week until 4 p.m. and extended on, on Thursday until 8 p.m. And the only day that we're closed is Monday. Okay, great. But other than that, um, um, masks are required and we do have hand sanitizing stations on every floor in the museum. Okay. And then, you know, looking kind of to the future, um, you know, assuming that at some point, hopefully soon, we, we move through uh, this COVID situation. Um, 
what what things do people have to look to that maybe if maybe now is not the right time for them to volunteer at trout but do you guys have other things that pop up throughout the the course of any given year that maybe someone should keep their eye out for um, yeah. even if you don't have those openings now yeah um if this was a regular circumstance we do would have a number of areas to volunteer in like i said in the beginning we we do art education we do art exhibitions and if you're in we recently had somebody who was studying museum studies and she wanted to kind of have an internal look at installing an exhibition so she came in and helped us install our last exhibition um and that could be we can teach you how to do some of that um painting painting walls or hanging an artwork but if you want to just help with an art class um, we have art classes year round for youth and adults um, and sometimes that's a single day and sometimes that's once a week for four weeks so that you can kind of pick and choose your schedule that you want to do with that um, and if you would want, prefer to work with kids or you would prefer to work with adults um, and all our classes are taught by local artists so you would be more like a helping hand in, in case mm -hmm. anybody needed assistance or the artist needed somebody to run and get more yellow paint or something um, that would be kind of what you would be doing um, and then, like I said, we have the gallery space, of course. So um, we do have people who docent, um, and that would be essentially when we have a new exhibition, um, we would provide you with all the information that you would need to know about what that exhibition is about, and you could lead tours if you wanted. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, That's great, no. I think those are the main areas. And then of events, typically um, we would have more events than are the park. We have um, uh, exhibition openings. We're not doing those right now, but that would be a single night um, where we could kind of welcome the community and see this new exhibition. So we have volunteers for those, th those type of things too, or community events. Great, fantastic. Um, so again, you, uh, all this information can be found at troutmuseum.org. Uh, and one more time, what was that website to sign up to get on that Art in the Park uh, interest list? Yes, you can either go, you can find it right on our homepage at artthepark.org, or sorry, troutmuseum.org, or you can go to artthepark.online.com. You can find it in both places. Yes. But otherwise, it is right hard. The park is right on the home screen of trotmuseum.org. Very cool. Uh, anything else we need to know? No, I think that's it, unless anybody has any questions. If you have, uh, if you're watching live and you have any questions, feel free to either unmute, uh, unmute or uh, pop a question into the chat here. Um, while, while you're doing that, uh, let me say, first of all, Ashley, thank you uh, for being here uh, and for representing the Trout. Uh, if you have never been to the Trout Museum of the Art, first of all, I highly encourage you to visit the museum. Uh, it is a really cool space and fantastic art. Um, at the very least, definitely become involved in Art in the Park. It is an awesome event. If, again, if you've never been to it before, or if you've just been to it uh, as a um, attendee, uh, it, it, I have to imagine it's really kind of cool to get the, a little bit of the behind the scenes look as a, a, a volunteer as well. Um, but uh, again, on behalf of Volunteer Fox Cities, thank you all for being here and being a part of Volunteer Fest uh, 2020. Please make sure to visit uh, our one-stop shop at uh, volunteerfoxcities.org slash volunteerfest. You'll be able to, again, see links to all the stuff that Ashley was mentioning today, as well as the other participating agencies in Volunteer Fest. Uh, there you'll also find the schedule for the rest of the Zoom meeting for tonight and for the rest of the meetings this week that we hope to see you uh, attending them.